Hi, my name is Steve Blaze. I'm going to show you how to add effects, various effects to your photographs that you've included in your presentation. I've already added a photograph here from our previous demonstration, and I'm just going to show you, go through each of the effects and show you what you can do. You have a couple different things you can um, edit in the photo editing menu over on the right. You can adjust the opacity of the photograph here. You want to have it fade in or fade fade around. You can fill it, which wouldn't be applicable here. You can have a stroke, which is the, the outside border. Of You can now you see a slight purple hint tint at the edge of the photo. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Select the photo again. You can transform it uh, in terms of where you want it position, rotating, arrange uh, in terms of you want it in front of some, an image or in back of something. You can group the images together. You can align the image however you want. Um, you can flip it one way or the other, horizontally, vertically. And you can distribute the vertical spacing evenly between the images. That's if you have multiple images or multiple items in your slide. Now hit the uh, FX button here and you'll see all the effects. Drop shadow, exactly what you think it is. It's a little drop shadow, which you can adjust the distance, the colors, the blur, the angle. You can change the color if you want to change the color of the effect. We can go and select the glow. We can make it kind of glow. As you can see, again, change the color of the glow, the opacity. Most effects have their own sub-menu. Bevel. You see it gets a nice bevel effect. Again, the distance, the strength of the bevel. You want it to look rounder, flatter, sharper. You can change that. And you can change the color and various features, the opacity. Now I'm going to select the blur. It does exactly what you think. You can adjust the various factors of the x axis and the y axis of the blur. And you can also adjust the intensity of the blur. The reflections, nice effect. And again, you can uh, adjust the amount of reflection, the distance, and offset how much you want it to offset from the picture. You can adjust the overall color. If the picture was a little bit uh, faded or oversaturated, you could adjust various aspects of the picture to correct that without having to use a separate image editor. You can add borders. I like this. My favorite one is probably the torn edges to make it look like a, you know, more authentic. You can choose various colors of the frame. Certain ones you may not be able to use all of the uh, sub-menu effects, though. Aqua basically just gives you an appearance of like a drop of water, no sub-menu. Flag is probably the most intense and most unique feature of Slide Rocket that I've seen in any presentation. It gives it, makes the image look like it's a flag waving in the wind, and you can adjust which way the wind is blowing. You can adjust the speeds of the wind. I'm not sure if those numbers represent miles per hour or what they represent, but some neat effects. Last one, I don't find it useful for me, but it's called sonar. You can change the color. But you'll notice with this particular um, effect, now it's changing to blue, is that it goes beyond the image. So I don't really like it too much. You can adjust various features of that as well. So that's all we have uh, for the effects. In the next slideshow presentation tutorial I'm going to give, I'm going to talk about uh, importing uh, YouTube videos and uh, video editing and downloading videos. So thanks for checking this out, and uh, check back soon.